Welcome back to the show. It's week one of the NFL season and generally this time of year all focus would be on the Sunday game between the Packers and Seahawks, but an off field story involving Seattle defensive end Michael Bennett has taken control of the headlines. Chris Barrier has the latest. Leading up to week one's kickoff between the Packers and Seahawks, a pair of brothers on opposite sides of the field have a lot more than just football to think about. Michael and Martellus Bennett are determined to see change, especially after what happened two weekends ago in Las Vegas. I wasn't doing nothing, man. Footage was released today of Seahawks defensive end Michael Bennett being restrained by police using what Bennett called unbearable excessive force. We have together. It's a traumatic experience for me. The country that we live in now, sometimes you get profiled for the color of your skin, and um, it's a tough situation for me. He was attending the Mayweather-McGregor boxing match when the sound of a gunshot sent people into hysteria. After fleeing the scene, Bennett was detained by police who thought he was a suspect. But Bennett claims he found himself in a life-threatening situation. In his statement on Twitter, Bennett said the officer threatened to, quote, blow his explicit head off. Okay, any moment I could have made the wrong decision and the Seahawks would be wearing the patch with number 72 on it. Meanwhile in Green Bay, Michael's brother Martellus is also trying to make sense of the situation. Today someone sent me the video, I didn't even know that there was a video and I got, I had to walk out of meeting because I broke down crying just thinking about like what could have happened. As the start of the season draws near, Martellus sees the good that can come from such an ugly situation. It's one of those things that I think he's continuing to deal with and I think it would be better for it in the long run. In my family, I'm the rainbow, so meaning that I'm the guy that helps you realize that the storm is over. Super exciting to have him playing at high, a high level. I just hope that he don't get no sacks against us and I score a lot of touchdowns against them. Martellus is a man that firmly believes things happen for a reason, and with that in mind, it makes sense that the two brothers will meet right here on this field Sunday afternoon, not just as opposing players, but as brothers and as best friends. Reporting from Lambeau Field, Chris Barrier, NBC 26. The Las Vegas, Nevada Police Department is currently running an internal investigation on the incident, gathering body cam video from 126 officers and even asking for cell phone footage from pedestrians. Of note, the arresting officer's camera was not turned on during this incident. That'll be all for us, folks. We'll be right back.